I've had. I've got as many badgers here as there are at Holden Bay. Disgusting creatures. <laughs> Badger latrines everywhere. So yesterday was our 27th wedding anniversary. Can you believe it? She did well. <laughs> and today, spent the morning looking after the raptor exotics animals. And now we're out with Lily and we're at a local historic gardens, Castle Ashbury in Northamptonshire. I don't know, five minute drive from where we live. So we're enjoying a beautiful late September's day and we're now gonna head off and see their menagerie and let little Lily <laughs> see some of the funny animals they've got here. Oh, look at that, giant redwood. Oh, someone's got a stinking cold. Anyway, <laughs> how do you know? It's a redwood. Look at the girth of this thing. Because you can give it a good old punch. And it's just as soft and spongy as anything. Absolutely amazing. You wouldn't want to do that hard to an oak tree. Look at the size of this thing. Hang on, let me flip you. That is one big tree and yet in the scheme of things just a young small one You had the land and a tree like this, a weeping beach. Hot summer's day, you've got your own perfect garden room in the shade and the green. How cool would this be? A huge space. You could entertain, you could drink gin and tonic. Wow. Fuchsia's a, certainly one of Jackie's favourite flowers. We're in the fuchsia house. Still plenty of colour, even late in the season. So the great thing about Northamptonshire is we've got loads and loads of stately homes, historic houses. And everyone just sings slightly differently. Some really go for the gardens. Here the wildlife menagerie is actually sort of exotic animals. And of course at Icarus at Holdenby, you've got the falconry. And the British wildlife is what we really want to get you behind. But lots of places to visit here in Northamptonshire. No one really competing, all attracting you to these amazing historic houses and gardens. And on that note, if unlike me, you love the meerkats, then Castle Ashby, really, yeah, it's got the best meerkat manor anywhere around. Loads of room. Come on. Loads of meerkats too.
big old boys. And something I'm really meant to be doing this winter is building our saw carters and outdoor heated accommodation. Well, that would be an awful lot lower than that one because obviously heat rises. They certainly need something on the lines of that luxury so they can forage throughout the winter and head back under a clear flapping door so they've got heat when they need it. Two big old boys. As mentioned on an older vlog here at Castle Ashby, in the walled area here, we used to fly birds of prey for their, their spring sort of garden party stroke. Yeah, fate, I suppose. It was always a good craft fair, I think, what it was. But we always used to set up here, have a lovely big arena, and fly our birds there, lovely gig. It was always the best gig of the year, real pleasant. <laughs> Jackie. Wild water soldier look amongst the whirly gigs. Well, they're cream. Pop a bit in your mouth and try it. Would you like to sample it? <laughs> no, because they're not the kind of a mushroom. It does What's actually smell good? like a. It smells like a field mushroom. Yeah. It's Probably not... tastes alright. Just try a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie and Dave, the foragers. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the vlog. We've got the whole of the Norfolk coastline to ourselves. We're at Runton, favourite spot. It's a Monday morning. 
It's October. Second? Yeah, probably is. Look at that. Wow, that's my kind of beach. We're going to go for a stroll. So we chanced a bit of rock pooling at Runton. Yeah, we haven't really looked at the tide times. Another three hours and it'll be out. What a bummer. One of the best places on the East Coast as well. Anyway. Sad little sand domes in here, high up the, high up the side. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. I know there'll be some. Norfolk, once you get away from the people, the broads, the aquatic environment, the woodlands, the countryside, the coastline, so different and little pockets of difference everywhere. You can see why many, many artists flock to live here. People move to Norfolk, whether you like the art of photography, painting and so on. It's just captivating. And it really is always our relaxing place. Every little, a few miles around the corner, you're in a completely different sort of habitat and environment. All equally as beautiful, and if you're careful, just as peaceful. What is it? Look at that. Trapped in a tiny rock pool. It's gonna say sand eel, but it's not. Let's investigate. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, I feel dead now. Can't touch it. It's gonna be one of those fish that soon as Let's go. <laughs> I dropped it. <laughs> you didn't know where I wanted it to go. Oh, well, I'm sure it's back in the sea now. Yeah, it's not floating around anyway. Because it's not down the way.
Look to your right, Jackie. To your right. <laughs> Wow. They look quite like sinister, don't they? Yeah, they are. If you're a fish. <laughs> That's amazing. Never seen so many here before like that. Have you? These ones are real tight. <laughs> Probably not the best place to be standing. I'm gonna dare her to go in there soon. I've renewed the insurance. Go and have a look in that cave. Jackie, get out of there. <laughs> Jackie! Get away, you're under a massive hangover, or rather overhang. <laughs> oh Jesus, talk about gene pools. <laughs> really Very much a, that'd come in handy. <laughs> Especially if you see a really big vampire. It's a real easy one. Comment below if you know what that is. Now I know a couple of lads that would be pretty, pretty keen to have that. Probably not the whole thing. Or probably if I actually had a bag on me, I would take that home for one of them. A seal skull. But I haven't got a bag on me, and Jackie's going to go, Dave, you're a minger, if I carry it all the way along the beach. Pretty well eaten by many, many things. Okay, so I've asked Jackie if she's got her little fold up shopping bag. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to tell her what for. So she still doesn't know what's going in the bag. <laughs> Jeez, I need to get that chipped tooth fixed. It's a seal skull. I just thought if Kyle doesn't have it, someone would like it. I've got a couple of people in mind. Look, if you pick it up and put it in the bag, It'd be quite a good find. <laughs> sort of out of place that one. Oh uh, yeah, mm -hmm. by the way. <laughs> Short walk now, the tide's gone out quite a way. Long way to go, but all kinds of stuff over there. Little shore crab. Whee. Oh, hermit crab. Damn it, I scared it with my voice. Oh, look at that. It's actually a really big hermit crab for here. Come and have a look. You see him? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's cute. He's very cute. Really
Sure crab. Look at this guy. Oh, beautiful. Back he goes. So we found all kinds of things. If you live far from the sea, we live in the centre of England, furthest point from the sea, get your kids rock pulling. The beauty and the wonder of rock pulling never ends. You find new stuff all the time. I found some hermit crabs, various fish such as rockling, which without a net I can't show you. Lots of prawns, but Jackie's up there with her stinking seal skull. And I'm gonna go and catch her up, but I could explore this all day long as the tide goes out. Absolute beauty and wonder. somewhere yesterday and here is a site I found them before alive with a bit of sunshine it's actually ridiculously warm just thought we'd have a real quick look on the way home there you go beautiful male looking at her <laughs> not big Average size. So you can get a bit closer. So the sun's just been peeking out. It was 18 degrees in the shade. We're in October, so best, best, better weather than we've had for a long time. One of the best looking adders I've ever seen. So as, as Jackie came over to have a look, he bolted. I managed to tail him. And I was changing hands just to show you him close up and dropped him. And of course, he was away. I have a few more minutes. It's absolutely gorgeous here. But yeah, I love adders. You guys know I've got some phenomenal, beautiful and rare in captivity snakes. You know I breed some lovely snakes. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. If I could keep one species, it would be adders outdoors. It just fascinate me. Beautiful, beautiful hey, things. Might be a hibernaculum near here, guys. We've hit the jackpot. We've hit the mother load. The sun's gone in, so I wasn't sure where the sun actually was shining. Look at that. So Jackie's coming around this time. So the last bit, it all went to pot because I had to sort of <laughs> grab the adder before it disappeared so we get some better footage and then handed Jackie the phone and turned it off now this one's seen me now it knows I'm here now Jackie so people say why do you whisper when you're looking at adders just so what you do when you're around iconic nature it's just what we do isn't it you just lower your voice by accident and look they're going already oh Jackie they're going so quick quick run Jackie run just have a look, the male's gone. What looked like a really vibrant male. There's a lovely oh, big hey. girl there. Oh. So that didn't hear me talking, but it probably just felt Jackie's footsteps. Probably just got aware that the scenery had changed me, even though we're keeping still. Let's just see if we can get a bit closer. She's coming back out, look. Just thinking, yeah, I could flee, but the sun's just coming out. Maybe I'll stay. So we're on full zoom. I'm four feet away. No, I'll 
was going to try and get closer. Look at that. That is Britain's most beautiful piece of wildlife. Right there. What a stunning couple of adults that was. So we've just come to a typical spot. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish all the way around. Overtaking the heath. A little open area. Just but a glimmer of sunshine. It's a, but it's a bowl. Like it's I was a saying. bowl, yeah, an open area. They're always in a bowl. So if you're in somewhere like this, just check out the sunny edges. You can see where they want to be. They can just vanish underneath. Now, of course, if you're one of those Facebook I idiots that live on a screen and spout rubbish like, oh, Dave, those poor adders, you've disturbed them now. They're not going to get their sufficient heat and warmth and UV. You've stressed them out. They're going to need counselling. Believe you me, if we st stood there or crouched down better for five minutes and the sun come out, they'd be straight back out. They move in and out with the sun. They move in and out when a big animal nearly treads on them. They're not at all bothered. Even if you tail one, don't do that, but even if you did, as long as you're gentle, you don't harm them, they go on their way. They don't need counselling afterwards or suffer from major stress. They're not humans. If they come to no harm, and they're back where they actually came from, they belong. It doesn't matter, they're fine. And my God, they are the most beautiful things.